For thousands of years, the Macaw tribe has occupied the region of the Pacific Northwest known as Cape Flattery, or what is also known as the present town of Niabe, Washington, on the Macaw Reservation. But who are the Macaw? Well, we're known for being whale hunters and seal hunters, uh, fishermen, and we were known for being great warriors. They defended their homeland with what appear to be very simple weapons, clubs, bow and arrows, knives, harpoons. Even the first explorers had trouble colonizing the area. The Spanish had set up a fort here briefly, but were eventually defeated and they left. But what was it about the Macaw that gave them superiority in the battlefield? In the following episodes, we're going to be taking a look at the weapons that were used by the Macaw to see if we can unlock part of this mystery. All right, so we're here at the home of uh, Jojo McGimsey now, and he's gonna, he has something to share with us. Um, this is actually a replica of um, a war club like the kind that we see in our museum. Um, can you tell me a little bit about this club and how you acquired it? Oh, Clark, Quiat Pasha Bishop Zixuch, O Dog Chatoop Ish Oseir received it from Chuutsit, Greg Arnold, as a gift. And it's a Chutoop, just like was made in Ozet, our village down there. It's a war club, and it's made from the jaw bone of the Zakawish gray whale, and uh, it was his best piece of uh, ivory he had. And he says, "This is for you, and thanks for helping him with a potlatch that his family hosted." So it's carved whale bone, ivory. Designs from the Ozette village are one of our five villages, and it is uh, just like the ones they found at the site, at the archaeology site. It's carved. Can I take a look at it? Sure, it's carved, inlaid, a beautiful piece. Chetup. Wow. Literally translates to split your head. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually pretty excited to see a replica up close because I was um, waiting for approval to go into the archives and, and look at the originals and uh, actually be holding a replica is you know, really exciting to me. Um, it's a lot heavier than I imagined it would be. Um, I wanted to get some specs on this. Um, so I brought with me a scale and a uh, tape measure. I'll go ahead and measure the length. Um, the length of this one is 21, 21 and a half inches long. And we'll go ahead and get a weight on it. It's uh, 2.7 pounds. So. Okay, so now that we have heard some stories about the Macaw War Club, it's time to go into phase three and that is actually making some replicas and testing them. I would like to uh, make some replicas out of actually whalebone. I've secured some whalebone to make a couple clubs with, but I won't be able to do that till tomorrow. But for today, I'm gonna make out a few out of yew wood. I'm gonna trace these out, maybe slightly, a little bit smaller, the, the yew wood that I have, but you know, it'll work for now. I thought it would be a lot louder. Okay, so I am done roughing out my shapes now. Um, out of that chunk you would, there's a lot of knots and areas where, um, you know, it's not gonna work for original, but I did manage to get one solid piece out of all that wood I had. The other ones, these will be fine for putting a rough shape on and a good handle and it can be used for sparring to, and just to get an idea of the weight. So they're still gonna be used. 
now that I got these a replica to work off of and some functional models I can practice with on you wood um, it's gonna be time to sand these out I know traditionally these would have been carved but I'm gonna go ahead and cheat and use a power tool So at a glance, the Macaw War Club does not look very threatening, it's not very big, it's a lot shorter than a sword, but when you actually hold one of these in your hands, um, you can really feel the, how destructive they can be. And there's the weight of it, the balance, um, it just it feels like it could crush bones. Um, I have some replicas here, I think this one weighs about 300 or 3 pounds pretty close to the uh, whale bone jaw one here. This one's a little bit heavier, it's about five pounds, but I wanna test it out anyway and see, see how this does. I'm gonna test these out in a variety of situations, both in their effectiveness in crushing things and also you know, how they do in combat. I'm interested to see how they'll do against spears, uh, you know, club to club, club to spear, club with knife, so forth, and, and just see what these can do. So, see you in the next episode.